in my last video, I showed you how far back this idea of cleaning your plate really goes. But I haven't even gotten to what may be the most impactful and devastating events around food in American history. Ten years after World War I, the Great Depression hits, and those same school children who pledged to not waste any food, well, they didn't really have a choice now. Because for the next decade, food in America was scarce. And what you could get your hands on was tightly rationed. People had to rely on soup kitchens and wait in long bread lines. And they had to eat whatever they could get their hands on in order not to starve. If your grandparents never let a scrap of food go to waste while you were growing up, it was probably a direct result of being raised during the Depression. Then, in 1947, after the Depression and after another World War, which was full of its own food rationing, this was one week's ration for an adult in World War II, the U.S. government, led by President Truman, launched the Marshall Plan to help rebuild a war-torn Europe. Part of this plan was the founding of a campaign called... The Clean Plate Club in elementary schools across the country, targeting kids who frankly were way too young to understand food conservation efforts in a post-war economy. Once again, families were encouraged to eat less and to finish their entire meal. And because of that, young children developed a habit of eating everything given to them, thus cleaning their plate. You can imagine how living through these events impacted the way our grandparents and great-grandparents viewed their food. Their entire life, it was a resource that couldn't be taken for granted, and you dare not waste it. So it makes sense that they taught it to their kids who taught it to us. But while food is not a scarcity for most people anymore, food security is still a problem, but that's a separate discussion, the idea that leaving a clean plate is somehow a virtue still persists. One poll showed that almost 70% of Americans will still finish their plate regardless of how much food is on it. So what started as an incentive for Americans to conserve food at a time of scarcity has since become an unhealthy habit that has certainly contributed to the increased rates of obesity in America. Stop forcing your kids to clean their plate. It will ruin their relationship with food just like it did yours.